Many of you, nearly all of you, in the last few weeks have asked me, Brandon, how do I add more pages to my digital planner? Guys, if you are a Remarkable user, if you're using GoodNotes or any other PDF annotation app, and you want to expand your notes, your meetings, your project pages, and double down on some of those resources, you're going to want to watch this video because I'm going to show you how to add more pages to those planners on those devices. So stay with me. All right, for those that don't already know me, I'm Brandon Bonifer, creator and founder of the Key to Success Planner. And if you guys could do me a favor, if at any single point you find some value in this video, by all means, hit the like button so others can be invited to the conversation. If you have questions, hit the comments. Someone or myself in the community, I'm sure will reach out to you and answer those requests. And by all means, if you're not already a subscriber, Go ahead, hit that subscribe button and get the bell for notifications so we can tell you more about digital planning, tech, these products, these devices, and how you can get the most return out of them in each component of your life. Now, if you guys don't already know, I'm the creator and founder of the Key to Success Planner, which is a professional planning system that works across various apps, annotation applications, OneNote devices, iPad, Surface, Remarkable. There's a lot of different devices out there, a lot of different applications that we support so you guys can grow your digital planning journey. Today, guys, we're gonna talk about adding more pages to PDF annotation apps and also adding more pages to your planner on your e-paper devices like the Remarkable. Throughout this video, I'm gonna show you how to do this on the Remarkable. Also through this video, I'm gonna show you how to do this on GoodNotes, which is a PDF annotation app. There are so many different PDF annotation apps out there. We fully support GoodNotes, as well as NoteShelf and Nobility, but today we're gonna to show you the characteristics of doing this in GoodNotes. The process is relatively the same. So let's go ahead and jump into the Remarkable and take a look at that first. So when you're looking at the Remarkable, a lot of you guys really have loved this index page. It's a page where you can go ahead and write down the titles and descriptions to your projects, your meetings, your notes. And then you can go ahead and you can hyperlink on any of these pages. So if I wanna pull up meetings with Jack, I can click on my meeting with Jack and I can get right to the meeting page that I have designed to meet with Jack. Now I can go ahead and hit the key page and go back and go to my next uh, meeting if I want to take additional notes. So the Bradford meetings. Now, the one thing that we find with the system is that we develop these pages so that you could index them and you could share your notes. Many of you guys have asked me, Brandon, I have multiple meetings in the month, multiple meetings in the days, and I want to have multiple meetings with certain customers, different employees, co-workers, and I want to be able to take care of all of those notations as well. Well, what we've been able to do, and we're going to show you today, is how you can expand that. As you see, if I swipe left, I go back to that meeting with Jack. If I swipe right, I go back to the meeting page with Bradford. If I go back to the keys, you'll see I go back to my index, and I only have 20 pages. Now, with the Remarkable app, this syncs to your Remarkable desktop application. So we're gonna go ahead and jump on our computer and show you how that works. Okay, in my desktop application, I'm gonna go ahead and hit export as a PDF. At this point, I'm gonna rename my file because this is, I want to be able to have a new file name on my computer so I can identify the changes. So I'm gonna hit save and I'm going to allow this, we're doing this on a Macintosh computer and it's going to save that document to my local computer. This is important because this also works as a means of archiving your planner throughout the year. From here, we'll go ahead and we're going to open up that new planner. We're going to open up an Acrobat. And we're going to go ahead and just take a look at this Acrobat file, this PDF file that we downloaded from the Remarkable. Zoom out a little bit so you guys get a better view. And zoom out a little bit more. So here you can see our planner. You can see the meeting with Jack. Goes to meeting with Jacks. Go back to the key page and see Bradford meetings and goes back to the Bradford meetings, just like we illustrated on the Remarkable. And you can see those follow right in sequence to each other. But what happens if we want to add more pages? Go ahead, open up the page tab. We're gonna to go to a blank meeting page. So we're gonna find a blank meeting page first. We're gonna right click and hit copy and go back right to the page where it said meetings with Jack and then we're gonna right click and hit paste. 
The purpose here is to make sure you add the pages after the page that is hyperlinked from the key page in our planning system. So now you can see we have additional meeting pages. If we keep scrolling, we're gonna see the Bradford page. So that hyperlink is going to link to that very first page or the hyperlink number four. And we're gonna go ahead and add some additional pages under Bradford. And if we scroll back up, you'll see. Now we go to the key page, we click on Bradford, goes to Bradford, click on meeting with Jack, and then it also take us in sequence to those meeting pages. So what really helps you here is you can go ahead and take that index and you can start indexing topics. So meetings with Bradford, meeting with Jack. This also works with notes. So we copy the note page and a lot of people love this part of it is I can go to my particular day of the month, hit paste, and this is January 3rd. And now I just put a note page behind the month. And I'm gonna do that behind each page. So each day in that week, I'm gonna add a note page. So maybe you're a heavy note taker and you wanna have those additional pages. You can do this by pasting additional note pages behind each of the daily pages in our planner. As I scroll up, you can see there's a note page now after every single page of the daily spread that we have. And if I go ahead and click on the individual hyperlinks to those days, it takes me directly to that day. But if I scroll past or swipe one additional page, you will see that I go to that note page. So you can also do this with meetings. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to save uh, this page or this PDF. Now we're going to go back to our desktop app and hit import. And we're going to open that file and essentially re-import it. And you can see now it'll start to upload. One thing you can look to the file to the right has 665 pages. That was our original PDF. Once the file is uploaded, you'll see the checkbox and you'll see that we have now 674 pages in that PDF. So you can see that we added those additional pages. Now from here, it's gonna take a moment or two for that file to resync to your Remarkable. So let's jump back and look at the Remarkable. Going out of this notebook, we're gonna jump back in and you can see right here, we have the new planner page, 674 pages. Our old planner is still there. We're gonna go ahead and click on our new planner that we just imported. So now you can go ahead and you can see if I jump to January and I jump to January 3rd, it takes me to my daily page. But now if I go ahead and swipe, I now have those additional note pages there for me. If I keep swiping, you can see I can go to each individual day, but I can also easily jump back and click on individual days and go back to the respective date that was originally included in the hyperlink. Now you could, in addition to the note pages, you could also add meeting pages or project pages in the same form or fashion. If I go back to key now and I get to my index page here where it says meeting with Jack, I click on that and now I have my initial page with Jack and if I swipe to the right, I have a new page and I have those additional pages that I added. So a lot of people find a lot of success by adding multiple pages and then using the index page as a mean to create categories or sections to their notes that they are tracking throughout the year. Another opportunity is to create an archival backup of your planner. By using the same process that we used before, we go to the desktop, we open up the Remarkable app and we export a PDF and we save that locally. Then we go back to our Remarkable. Say for example, I want to clear my meeting pages. I can click on the meeting page. I can enable my writing utensil, go to erase, and erase all. And what that'll do is that'll actually clear out that page. Now I can repeat this process and go through every single meeting page and note page that I took notes on in the month of January and have a new copy of my planner for the month of February, kind of giving me a refresh. Now, the one thing I will advise you is if at any point you would re-import your existing planner or your archival copy that you saved to your local machine back into the Remarkable, you are not able to erase those pages, but you can add additional notations. So this method works really good for someone that, hey, every month I wanna create an archival copy, I'll go back into my original, I'll clear my pages, and basically start my meetings, my notes, my project pages 
over. And you can do this with just a certain section. Maybe you ran out of meaning pages, clear all the meaning pages. Maybe you want to clear the last 10 notes you took, go ahead and clear the last 10 notes you took. So here's the two methods for going ahead and adding pages to your Remarkable Planner. Now that we showed you how to add more pages to that PDF file and how to go ahead and archive your planner on the Remarkable, we're gonna show you how you can add more pages in a PDF annotation app like GoodNotes. As you can see here, we have GoodNotes open and we are on our key page in our planner. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to page thumbnails and we're gonna to go to a blank note page. So here you can see we have a blank note page. We're gonna go back and open up the thumbnail page again and click on the right and click on the little drop down arrow. And we're gonna go ahead and hit duplicate. What this is gonna do is you can see that additional note page was added. So now we have two note pages. I can from here go ahead and I can move this page. So I can go ahead here and I can scroll down through my planner and say I want to add this note page after a particular date. So I'm going to add it right here. So here's my note page. Again, at any time if I want to, I can take that and I can move it here. Now you can see that I have January 3rd and I have a note page there. Similar to the same process that we did with the PDF annotation update that we showed you in our first method. So here if I go ahead and click on stocks to watch, I'm going to go ahead and enable my pen and I'm going to write note one. I'm going to go back and click on my next one and I'm going to write note two. If I disable and slide left, you can see note one, slide right, see note two, go back to the key page and click on three, it takes us to note one. Now I can go ahead and go back to my thumbnail page and you can see note one's right here. I click and I hit duplicate. And I'm actually gonna duplicate that like three times. So now if I go ahead and hit close and go back to my key page and click on three here and swipe, you're gonna see that I have that note page one multiple times. If I go back to here and click on key and jump to number four, it takes me right to notes too. Now what I can do is I can quick enable my pen and I can just erase these couple little notes. And I just like to do this portion of it just so that as I'm duplicating the pages, I have easy access to the thumbnails so I can see what pages I am duplicating and where I place those pages. So that's really it. So you can go ahead and you can duplicate a page and then place that page after another page in your planner or you can go into a certain section and duplicate pages after and that allows you to have that same opportunity where you can create categories and build up more or less tabs or sections of meetings, notes, and projects or add note pages after a particular day so you have more writing for journaling or just random note taking. So there you guys have it. I showed you how to add pages to your PDF annotation app. I showed you how to archive your Remarkable or ePaper devices, and I showed you how to add pages in a PDF annotation app like GoodNotes. The process is very similar for other annotation apps like NoteShelf and Nobility, but that is how you guys can expand your notes, your meetings, your projects, and how you can add additional notes behind those daily planning pages if you are someone that needs more space for note taking or journaling. If you guys got one thing out of this video, do me a favor, hit the like button. If you wanna learn more about digital planning and see great reviews on different tech, my honest inputs on what this technology can do for your life, your professional career, how it can help you grow your organization, subscribe to our channel. And guys, God willing, I hopefully get to see you guys in the next one. We're gonna continue this journey all year round. And with that being said, love everyone. See you guys again real soon.